Here we're going to talk about something fundamental in anterior segment surgery, which is using paracentesis incisions as valves. This is done by floating just into the entry sites we inject to fill the eye, checking the pressure is good with the index finger, waiting five seconds, checking again to make sure that the fluid pressure is stable, it's in fact a little high here, and then floating a little further into the paracentesis for controlled outflow of fluid. To help understand this, we're going to look at a schematic here showing a section through a 30 gauge cannula tip here, the cornea here with a section through the paracentesis, the anterior chamber here with the iris down below. If you float into the entry site about 10 or 20 percent into it, just kissing the external ostium as you inject, fluid pressure is going to hold the interior aspect of the wound open and allow you to fill the anterior chamber. But as soon as you stop injecting, the posterior lip of the cornea is able to act as a flap valve, preventing fluid escaping. If you want to allow fluid escape, just advance the cannula a little further into the paracentesis. And if we look from the inside here, you can see how the cannula then splints the interior aspect of the entry site open, allowing free flow around the outside of the cannula. A couple of beginner's errors. Try and avoid posterior pressure when you're advancing the cannula. This splints the entry site open and allows uncontrolled flow outside around the cannula. Similarly, if you're entering at the wrong angle, you're going to be levering the paracentesis open and again allowing uncontrolled flow. So what we're looking for is a real light touch. We're just entering the external 10, 20% or what I call just kissing the entry site here to allow the posterior lip of the cornea to act as a valve and then advancing into the paracentesis if we want controlled flow around the cannula to the outside. Looking again in slow motion, that's floating just into the entry site as we inject a real light touch, not pressing down and advancing further into the eye to allow fluid outflow. So putting this all together at the end of surgery, this is a nice one. Just kissing the outside of the main entry site with the Simcoe cannula there just brings the eye to a supraphysiological pressure nice and quickly, very useful in a vitrectomized eye. A little bit of judicious entry site hydration here. Remember the time to do your checks is on the table so that if there's a problem with the entry sites and their sealing function, you can fix it there. And 2% fluorescein, very good if you're ever unsure about whether or not you've got a leak. And uh, a very key point to remember is that if you think about putting a suture in, you should probably do it. As I say, the point being that the time to fix a problem with the sealing of the entry sites is right here on the operating table. It's not finding out in the recovery room half an hour later. Coming back with the intracameral antibiotics here for the final intraocular pressure regulation, just floating into the entry site there to inject and fill the eye, checking the pressure is good with the index finger, waiting for a few seconds to ensure that the pressure remains stable. If it's a little high, then we're just advancing a bit further into the paracentesis to allow controlled fluid egress here and leaving the eye at a nice comfortable physiological pressure.